So I decided it was a good day to go to the salvos. Well, I just had a really stressful morning again. And I thought, I'm going to salvos right now. I'm going to get myself some good old therapy. So that's what I did. So we opened the door. I couldn't open the door. The door was really stiff today. I saw someone else having issues with it too. I thought it was shut for a minute. But I went to get my lucky basket. And I trottled off up the shop. It's terrible, isn't it? I'm so sorry for the <coughs> moving around. I'm trying to... Um, Excuse me, do the best I can. So as I always do, I trottle up. It's just a habit. You go up here first. Sometimes I go to the clothes first, but more than likely not. There's one of the lovely ladies there. Um, I go up the little ramp first because there's always little collectibles up the side there. Um, did I get anything here today? I can't remember. I looked at a mirror. I know that. And then I went, looked over here and there was nothing. Oftentimes there's some good stuff here, but today there's those orange cups again. I just didn't see them the other day either, and I just saw them again now. Dear oh dear, I've got to keep my eyes open a bit better. That's twice now I've missed those mugs. But yeah, the lady up the end was talking about um, how many shots she's had. She's had pneumonia shot, and how she's had all the COVID shots, and then she had a flu shot, and how sick she is at the moment. And I thought that's my husband did the same thing, and he's been sick ever since. But anyway. Off that, off the, I was going to leave it running for you to hear, but I thought, you know, that's too much noise in his shop. It was really, really super busy today. And I didn't think, I don't think I got anything exciting up this end at all. But yeah, nah. So I might even just fast forward this a little bit. This is why I struggle holding a phone. There was this box right here, right? Oh man, it's going too fast. Oh, here we go. It was going, I couldn't open it. I had to put my phone down to open it because it's a box. It's closed. I've got to see what's in it. Okay, let's go again. I just fast forward a heap of boring, deleted a heap of boring stuff. The guy brought this trolley out full of yarn, like full chocker blocks full of yarn. And I asked him when it was being put out. He said Friday. So you know what that means, don't you? I always check this area. I've picked up really nice. This is where I got my beautiful laced um, tablecloths that I sold really well for lots of money picked up this because I thought it was pretty um, I was looking at something else there which you can't see it was a lovely little because my editing skills are so bad but it was a little um, lace doily it was very very pretty and you'll see a corner of it in about two seconds and that's all you get to see about that's it there you go you saw it so that was what I got there and I picked up another um, this big they put the quilts for two dollars two three dollars in this area like they put the um, Duna, the, the um, not the Dunas, the patchwork blankets I should have got a couple of weeks ago. I probably would have been able to sell them too. I just wasn't in a that mind frame. But um, I could have done it because people upcycle those as well. But there was not much in this area at all. Like looking in this old spoon section uh, and um, I was looking at these. I just skipped a few little bits because the ladies were doing I some work there and there was only glass. And I saw the later. sloppy and I thought, mm, maybe, maybe, but you'll hear about that later. I don't know what I did then. I'm gonna think and we're gonna go yeah, that it's was it for that here. section I think. Then I went. So I came around to the purses and I saw this really cute mesh purse and until I opened it up and saw how shattered it was inside. Like it has been absolutely destroyed. So it was not worth even looking at. But I always look, this is where I got my Colorado, I think I mentioned it last video, Colorado purse and I sold it on. Um, back through the normal way I go and we're going over to the ladies clothes, I think. I don't know where we're going actually, we're just going for a wander. That's what I do tacky on a little route of mine I know I was yeah I just did I was no airy fairy land I think I was so concerned with the videoing that I, was, I went all over the place just here um yeah I don't know anyway we're going for a little wander we're going for a wander watching a lady put her shoes on and we're going to look at the jeans I think I don't know no we're not I don't know what we're doing but we're going to have a little wander <laughs> I think I was going to the toys was I going to the toys no I was putting my blanket up on the bench that's what I was doing I've got to remember what I was doing. So then I went back. I think I went back to, we're going back to the clothes. Now we had a look in here first because sometimes there's nice little bits, but the prices in there are getting a little bit high. But I have found some really good stuff in there, even so. Um, so I always double check and I always check in the brooches. There's never anything there. And um, yeah, so we're going to go. Where are we going? Nelly, where are we going? I don't know. I'm looking. I'm looking at stuff, okay? All right, let's leave this because it's a bit boring. For I'm not one to go through every single piece of clothing. I like to scan and look at fabrics, patterns, styles. That's what I usually do. 
and obviously I'm sitting here looking at too much stuff because um yeah I don't know but anyway anything pretty there you like just tell me and I'll go back and get it for you yeah I think I was just looking at that, that was a really pretty dress that one I held that was an autograph dress large size uh, I didn't get it because I've got a bit of a pile happening of clothing at the moment but it didn't stop me getting something shortly um, which you'll see later probably if not before so yeah looking at all these nice pretty clothes and I saw this dress I don't know if you'll be able to see it if did I show you I don't know if I even showed you this dress but stay tuned if I didn't I was obviously thinking about it okay <laughs> that's what I was doing so I picked up this gorgeous jackets by lioness and i was tempted and i had ten dollars on it and i didn't want to get it because i thought you know summer is coming not winter but summer is coming another lady picked it up anyway so it worked out well for her beautiful jacket lioness brand um sells really well it was brand new with tags i just didn't want to store winter stuff for next winter no so they'll put it back for that reason then I went walking. I don't know. I was looking at tops again, trying to find nice blouses to wear. That would have been nice, except it's that horrible satiny material. I want cotton. <laughs> and my old age, I'm getting more fussy. And those coat hangers that do not hold onto clothes. And then I feel obligated to, to put it back up, even though I didn't knock it off. That was me. Then it was jeans time. Let's go look at jeans and see what I can find. I don't know. I did a little spin here. Why did a spin? I think I was checking to make sure nothing exciting had come in behind me. I don't know why I did a spin, but I did. And um, yeah, I was looking at jeans and I'm glad I did because you won't guess what they are. And yes, I did get them and you will see shortly what they are. But there was not only one pair of good jeans that I got, but there was two, which you won't see just yet, but you'll see later in the video because I'm not going to torture you with this little bit. I'm going to fast forward it, get rid of it. I don't know, do something with it. I think I'm heading to the men's section. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I, no, I'm not. I'm not heading to the men's section. I'm heading to the toy section. There you go. I didn't even know that myself. Heading to the toy section to see what's there. They had these really cute books, but they're only modern ones, just in the sort of older style, I think. I don't know. They were $5. I'm not buying books, am I? That's right. Vintage collection of what? Disney stories. But I think they're just like modern vintage collection, if you know what I mean. And then I saw this Grow a Girlfriend. So I got it. I got it for my grandson to send up to him as a gift. Apparently they had it, they had it, the lady said they had go um, girl boyfriend too. I would have got that for the other granddaughter. <laughs> but, but anyway, um, they didn't have it anymore because someone else bought it. <clears throat> and then I saw these Snoopy toys and I thought I'd have a little quick look at those. And I need to comp. I can't comp anything at the moment because I'm using my phone to take videos, aren't I? So there was nothing in the toy section of value so we shall skip this a little bit as well looking at this wetsuit because my grandson needs a wetsuit but i didn't know if it would be too big for him so this is the area i made a mistake you see those jeans sitting on the shelf yeah just stay tuned for that story then off to the men's section which was very very sad today then i saw these and i thought yeah pick them all up there was like not them what i've got playing with my hand i think there's four or five of them Usually jeans are five dollars a pair, but I didn't realise today that these were ten dollars a pair. They were all brand new. Did I buy them? Did I not? Stay tuned. Actually, you better not stay tuned. No, I didn't buy them because I went and had a quick Google, eBay comp look search, and they weren't going for that. I couldn't find the exact same ones, and they weren't going for a great deal of money. And the fabric was a bit weird. It wasn't a normal denim type fabric, but yeah, I did put them back, which sort of like I only bought one pair just to try them out but I thought no I don't because I've got enough jeans to do so I did put them back well I hope you enjoyed that little shopping experience I did I'm going to show you what I've got in the salvos because I don't know if I'm going to go into any other so I'm going to do that now I do waste so much time I do I waste so much time treasure hunting it's ridiculous but I'm sure I've talked through the videos the video <laughs> Just before of what I sh what I had, it was so busy in there. One lady had some stuff I probably would have picked up. She had old candle bras, you know, the little ones that you hung. Anyway, I didn't see it, so I didn't need it. Um, but I'll show you what I did get, and then no order really, or well, kind of. But some of the things you probably saw me pick up, but I, some things I picked up might actually put back. <gasps> my jeans. That's what it was. Someone took my jeans. Ah, I've got to go back. So I don't know what I was up to when I had that mini panic attack. Okay, so I had thrown my these particular things over the counter. And I thought, no, where? 
just didn't realise till I got back to the car that they weren't in my pile. I'm like, this is what I, I mean, I was so excited to find them. I don't want to um, lose something. So I just raced back in there, couldn't find them, went around the other side where they weren't earlier, like on the opposite side where I picked them up and then they were. And what are they? They are the G-Star Raw ladies jeans. Too small for my fat butt, but someone's going to love G-Star now, G-Star. Don't ever not look, grab them, just always grab them. So I've got, I've got those, but I also got, which I think they are, might be, um, a pair of, well the Wranglers, but I think they might be a vintage pair because they've got the higher waist. Um, maybe not, maybe they're not, but um, yeah, I've got a pair of ladies Wrangler jeans too. So, the two, they were $5 each. Now, I probably spoke about the other men's Wranglers in the previous video, so, because I haven't edited yet, so I don't know what I've said. So I'm just guessing, guessing, guessing what I said over there. Now I did get this, and I thought it was only 50 cents, but it was a dollar. But I'm going to give—he's going to be a giveaway for someone who likes sloths. It's going to be a giveaway in one of my lives, so keep an eye on that. <sighs> Some of the things I don't think you saw. I think you did see most of it. I, sh I think I showed you the Snoopies. Now I didn't mean to get it through the checkout before I checked, so one or three dollars for it, and the other packet didn't have many in. But I know some of these old Snoopy Snoopies. These old, these things here, Snoopy, <laughs> Broomer Brain Much, um, yeah, I know they can go for good money, so we're going to check them out for three bucks, it doesn't really matter, it really doesn't matter, because I make profit on everything else. I end up getting an Akubra, it did cost me $10, but this will go on to sell for $30, $40, even with the marks, um, stains on it, it doesn't matter, they still go on to sell, and I've sold this, said this story before to my old viewers, but to my new viewers, I picked up two um, out west, must have had this really good dump out there where they didn't have the council running it, and I picked up um, two Akubras that were in really gnarly condition, gnarly, yes I said gnarly, my granddad got his gnarly, I said yes, it was in really <laughs> not good condition, um, and I sold them both in the beginning of, before I started my full-time uh, selling journey. I think I sold them both for 50 and I probably could have got more but they had been nibbled at and a little bit of marking. They, they weren't in great condition and I sold them. They were free but so Wrangler, Wrangler, Kubras can go for good money. Okay I've got my grandson a shirt because I've got my granddaughter's stuff the other day that I'm sending up north and I think he'll like that one. I think he'll wear it. Run DMC, so it's a, they're sort of like that daggy stuff they like to wear. But I also got him a grey girl, a grey yourself a girlfriend. I'm going to send that up to him as well, since he didn't have very good time picking the last one. Oh no, she was lovely, but yeah, they're too young, it's too young. But apparently they grow. Look, I might not give it to him when he comes down so he can watch it grow. <laughs> so I got that for him. And the lady said there was a man one the other, a boy one the other day that some chick picked up to take as well. Um, I did end up getting those little souvenir spoons only because a lot of young people like to collect these sort of souvenir spoons. What they cost me? About a dollar, dollar twenty maybe. I don't know. I don't know very much. So I grabbed those. And I did grab, I don't know if you saw it, but I did grab that bit of fabric in the beginning. Uh, what will I do with it? I have no flipping idea. But it's a nice piece of tartan fabric and it'll be great for crafting and I may sell it on or give it to somebody. I don't know. But I did get that um, crochet little piece of lace work because if I get myself the old house that I'm hoping to get and it's got glass windows in it somewhere that would look lovely hanging there and I also got that checker dress now why I got this dress why I got this dress was because the brand I checked the brand before I bought it because it's not a color I would ever wear uh, a style is very popular for a lot of young people or older people and what size was it a medium um, the brand that label just again I'll show you it is called Soul Sparrow because I quickly looked it up they sell they sell well so I about that so we'll see what else we're going to do now I do have to get the post office sometime and I think they've got enough food because my husband went shopping um, the granddad wants to go for a drive soon so yeah I'm going to get going stop talking let's go I'll quickly too I did get that blanket I don't know if you saw it in the last one I did get the big Blanket. They put the blanket, really good blankets, um, in the quilts and stuff in the pet section. Nothing really wrong with them. They just want to move them out. And there's something else I was going to tell you. Oh, the reason why my jeans ran away is because I had throw, put my big blanket on the counter and my basket on the floor, and then I throw my jeans over next to my blanket. So someone in there was very proficient and thought it would need to be put away. And that's anyway. That's what happened. But guess what? We're going to one of my favourite op shops. It's very crowded in there. It's a little bit of a walk today. Usually I park straight outside it, but it's very crowded. So that means hopefully some new stocks come in. 
um, otherwise it means I've got to get, I'm going to get nothing because it's all gone but we're going to have a look it's one of my favourites, it's messy, usually messy they've got it really tidy lately, I don't know what's going on more volunteers I think, so let's go now that house I absolutely love it, if I had to live in town that's the sort of home I would live in put my shop down the bottom, just got sold recently look at it, so beautiful hello I wasn't going to come in, I thought well I've got to go past, I might as well drop in lots of cars today So I apologise for my terrible editing skills. Now I'm sitting in the toilet. Oh, not on the toilet. I'm sitting on the toilet, but not on. on. <laughs> I'm not using the toilet. I'm sitting on the toilet editing this because my husband thought I was talking to him, so I had to start again. Anyway, I was looking at old records right here, and that's why the sound is so hollow. My brain, honestly. Anyway, so I'm looking at some old records here. I saw the dueling banjos, and of course we think of that movie. So the editor, and then there was some more Don Lane stuff and. My editing skill, my videoing skills is terrible. I do apologise. I really wanted to show you these 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 thingy we doodles. So you can, all you can see is up my nose, and I'm very very sorry for that. But in a minute, I'll try and show you. Hopefully, I'll show you these records. I don't know if I'll if you'll see them or not yet, or am I showing you and you can't see because they're in the wrong place? I don't know. It's terrible, and I'm sorry. But it'll get better. Hopefully, I'll get better at this looks like you're not going to see anything right now so I'm going to delete this whole section. No I'm not because I'm sure I gave you a bit of a laugh so I'm going to leave it as is but I missed all the records they were really old ones but they've been chewed up a little bit and water stained on the covers but the covers were really really cool um probably 19 20 30 covers maybe 50s I don't know but they're really cool Ah, hopeless. Anyway, you know what? I've gone around the corner. This is a shop I always go around the corner and look at the books and thankfully there was no books there. I was just glancing and see how quickly I did that? Really quickly. <laughs> um, and then I looked at the men's clothes as I always do right there. Right there. Now, they're usually chock-a-block full of shirts. Someone's been going through them, like I said before. They must be having more volunteers because it's been a lot more organised than it used to be. I used to have it basically just stuff everywhere, but someone's getting in there and doing a lot of cleaning and clearing and sorting and yeah so I don't even know what they would be throwing away hopefully nothing awesome that I've missed out on like a mambo shirt I would cry if I do that anyway I was looking at other stuff I'm probably to delete most of this so I'm going to see what is worth showing you right now now near, near the toy section I do not know what happened to the good toys and op shops a lot of toys never anything here anymore but I did really well there at one time um, I always go down the back here because this little clothes rack that they're putting all the new clothes on it's where I found one of my most favorite tops that I wear a lot um, but there was nothing there today either and here I am again in the children's section looking at more books to see if there's anything of value there and there wasn't so I was quite proud of myself that I did not pick any books up at all today or yesterday so yeah I can be done so yeah looking at my I'm just basically just wandering around looking to see if there's anything anything at all sometimes i can walk out of here with so much good stuff maybe it's already got sold earlier in the day i don't know but it was not my day to be finding anything no matter how much i spun around <laughs> see you graham another beautiful old house across the road check it out so we're going to go over to st matthew's anglican op shop because we can I'm going to be back by 1.30, so we're going to hurry because I'm going to get the post office as well sometime in that time. Um, but we're going to go see what we can find there. It's the shop that doesn't have cash. I mean, it only takes cash, so I've got to go get money out if I find something. So I might not find anything, so you might not see this video. So, I spied all these. I probably should have had a proper look at these dresses because they were all like, a lot of them were ex shop stock stuff, but they're all $10 each. But this one, this one, uh, I just, I don't know. As soon as I saw it from across the street, I went, oh, I like that. I'm just imagining my photo booth section that I want to have in my shop, a shop one day, or even my home where the people can come and have photos done. That's what I was imagining, and I just thought it was so beautiful. Anyway, I looked at I quickly scanned all of them. And this one here that I'm about to pull out had a really 20s, 
20 sort of vibe to it but it was only where are, what am i doing here yeah, pick it up hurry up yeah there we are um terrible photo sorry but it was a very 20 sort of vibe for it to it but it wasn't an expensive label and then i thought all the other sort of stuff i have already packed away in my story shed up north and i thought i don't need that so i put it back ten dollars for too many dresses was a bit much oh did i get that one did you see me with that in my hand mm, maybe anyway i stuck it on the bench because i just loved it and i thought it yeah i just loved it very costumey very you know sort of movie like and then their shoes were pretty cool but they were too small let's go for a wander through the shop shall we this is another shop that i i probably don't go to this as often as i do salvos this is all the time and my favorite shop and helicopter i go to a lot this one is probably every second or third trip i'll go to it only because it's um not ever a great deal in here but it is the shop that i got this was a sports craft dress i thought it, sports craft suit i thought it might have been a vintage one but I can't, I've, this is the shop that I picked up the R.A. Williams, a few pairs of them for a dollar a pair in the past when they have their season sale. This is a shop that has dollar off, dollar everything in the shop for a dollar. It's another Sportscraft um, shirt. Sportscraft is a really good brand for a lot of people. They love it. They buy it a lot. Me, I'm just not a big fan. I like, yeah, I like more unusual stuff. This, okay, I held this up for a while looking at it. It's a Norton. A Norton is a motorbike that you can see it a bit better. And while I was looking at it, I was looking at it because my stepfather, who'd be in his 90s now, he used to race bikes back in the day. So I think back in the 50s, something like that, he used to race them just like that. And he had an old Norton at one time. Pretty sure it was a Norton. He had a few different old bikes, so I think it was a Norton was one of them. But anyway, nothing exciting here. We're going to go rushing past. I stopped here because it's the crockery section and like you know oh you all know I need crockery like I need a hole in the head I don't need either but I saw this little cute little set it's a three-piece set well it's actually a two-piece set exactly the same. oh my video skills are terrible anyway it's just two two little cups that were exactly the same and then a third one that was the same company brand label but a different mug and you can't even see it so I don't even know what I'm telling you but look at the pretty things up there can you see them all there it is um, trying to show you crown something <laughs> oh I didn't see that little cake plate till just then anyway <coughs> the rest of the shop there was nothing for me so yeah and yes I did get that um, dress I got cash for it I got that dress there's nothing else in the shop the end of my video today because I did go to a couple of op shops and I got little things nothing that would excite you at all but now I am here are you ready are you ready I can't even put the window down because it's taking the key out I'm over here right now. This is where the kids are <laughs> playing with their psycho puppy who doesn't uh, like to be quiet. Oh, the kids got out of the bus for a while because old oh, grumpy old man Boom was a bit grumpy today. <laughs> so, so they got out of the bus. I've just had noodles, hot noodles. My mouth is burning, so I'm going to go to have a drink. Um, but that's the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different than usual. I think it's Thursday now. Yesterday I did it, the video. Yesterday, today, Wednesday. Today it's Thursday because I did what sold yesterday, which is today. I'm going. You know I'm crazy. Don't forget to hit that button down below and say boomer if you made it right through the video. Bye.